Hello everyone and welcome back. So in our last video, we saw the significance of measuring profitability for a business, what it means for them, and the different stakeholders that have an influence or an interest in these profitability ratios. And we saw that the managers were interested in it. Of course, they want to see the performance of the business as well as the shareholders and investors and since their dividends are linked with the profit of a business. So that's the importance of profitability. In this video, we're going to introduce the first ratio that falls in the category of profitability ratios. And this one is called return on capital employed or simply ROCE. Right now, remember throughout this, we are trying to figure out how good is our profitability? Are we making more or less in comparison with another factor? And as the name suggests of this ratio, we're going to compare it with the capital employed. Remember, capital is the money company has to invest in it. So how much have they invested and what are they getting in return for it? Of course, in financial terms. That's what ROCE is, that it measures a business profitability as it compares the operating profit. Remember, it's the operating profit that is uh, compared with the capital that has been employed by the business. So now there's two parts to this. Firstly, we can see that they talk about operating profit, right? We know what is operating profit. When we look at our statement of profit or loss, it's revenues minus your direct and indirect costs. When all your costs are paid off, you get to an amount which is known as your operating profit. So they want to compare that with the capital that has been employed. Now, you don't see the capital employed in statement of profit or loss. You see it in the statement of financial position. So you're using both the uh, statements here to calculate how much has a company invested and how much are they making in return for it. So of course, the costing of it comes from one side, the capital comes from the other, but the capital is broken down in your statement of financial position. It can come from many, uh, many locations. And when it comes to capital, there are three sources that are seen in the statement of financial position providing money. Firstly, of course, it's your share capital. The shares that you issue are obviously uh, given in return for additional investment. So any money that's coming in, that's through share of sell, sell, the sales of shares, pardon me, is part of your capital employed. Secondly, if you have any reserves. This is an accumulation of all the return earnings over the previous years that have been saved by the business for when they need it in investments. So if the business is thinking of investing, expanding, whatever, they can uh, uh, get the uh, these company reserves and make it part of their capital. And finally, you can also go to banks and other financial institutions to obtain non-current liabilities. So these are long-term bank loans that are paid back over a period of time. So the collection of these three things will form the capital. And in order to calculate this, there's a simple formula which looks something like this. Return on capital employed is equal to the operating profit of the company for that year divided by the total capital employed multiplied by 100. Since it's multiplied by 100, this indicates that this formula or the result to this formula will be a percentage. So remember that. Because once it's a percentage, it becomes easy to compare it. For example, you can compare it to the interest rate in the, uh, in the prevailing in the country at that moment and then compare which is giving you a higher return. You can compare your percentage to a competitor and see who's getting better return on the capital employed. So th that's the logic and the theory behind it. Now let's look at a question where you are asked to calculate the ROCE of a company. So here's a question that has appeared previously in a past paper. So this is from 2021, June, paper 33, question number two. And in this question, we are given this table here and the data is given for two years. 2020 and 2021 which is forecasted so assume that we are here at this point 2020 and this is for the following year and you're given in this table revenue of the company maintenance costs labor costs marketing costs other expenses non-current liabilities and capital employed and you're asked to calculate the roce of 
2020 and 2021. So calculate ROCE. Okay, that's the question. Now, remember, we had two parts to our formula. One was the operating profit and the other was capital employed. So I'm just going to pull my formula here at the bottom. As you can see, return on capital employed is equal to operating profit divided by capital employed into 100. So let's figure out the numerator first, which is our operating profit. I'm going to write that as part A here, operating profit okay now what is the formula for operating profit op is equal to revenue minus all the costs that are given so when i look at my revenue i'm going to highlight that in blue it's given here for 2020 9.5 right i can write that here so op is equal to 9.5 is my revenue i check that off when it comes to the costs, there are multiple. I'm going to highlight that them in yellow in the table. So maintenance cost of 0.5, labor cost 6.2, marketing cost 0.3, and other expenses of 1.1. So a total of all of these will give you the total cost. So you add them up, 0.5 plus 6.2 plus 0.3 plus 1.1. Okay, and then you deduct it from 9.5. So this your formula becomes 9.5 minus uh, 0.5 minus 6.2 minus 0.3 and minus 1.1. So the result of it is that my operating profit is a total of 1.4 and this is given in millions. So $1.4 dollars is what the companies earn in 2020. Now the second part of it is that we've got to compare it to the capital employed. Now we can see that we are given non-current liabilities and capital employed but you always take the capital employed amount only because this total capital employed will include this 6.5 of non-current liabilities. So you directly, I'm going to highlight that in green here, go to the capital employed which is 12.1 so in the end my ROCE formula becomes 1.5 which is my operating profit divided by 12.1 and remember this is a percentage so multiplied by 100 and the result that I get is a percentage of 11.6 percent roughly so that is the return on capital employed of this company, meaning that on the $12.1 uh, million dollars that the company had invested in 2020, they earned a profit of $1.4 million, which is 11.6% in terms of returns. Now, if you're given the interest rate of the uh, country at the time, let's say it's 12%, then clearly this does not make sense if you can just simply put the money in the bank and earn a higher rate of 12%. So that's how you compare the return of ROCE with other numbers that give you returns. Now, what I've done is I've calculated for 2020. You could go ahead and pause at this time and try to solve it for 2021. The process would be exactly the same. So the numbers would be different. And of course, the result would be too. And in the end, you compare both the years. You look at 2020, you look at 2021, and in the end, you decide which year was better for the company, 20 or 21. 